Hey guys, check out that Cordyceps cake. It's William Padilla Brown coming at you from our homestead here in New Cumberland, Pennsylvania. I was in the middle of harvesting some of these Cordyceps and I realized I hadn't got at you guys with a video for uh, some time. So last time I left you guys off, I was talking about getting these guys into commercial cultivation and working on developing some more commercial strains. So since then I've developed six new isolates that I'm working on testing to see if they can fruit. And this is the CM4 that I collected the spores from to develop the new isolates. So this is the one that I've distributed. Uh, I gave a lot of these cultures away, sold a lot of these cultures at the Radical Mycology Convergence, and also uh, distributed some of these cultures whenever I did the first Cordyceps cultivation course in Decatur, Georgia. So if you're interested in learning about how to grow these guys, I'll be doing another Cordyceps cultivation course. We'll be getting a whole fruiting room up and running, so we'll have lots of these for uh, model, for display, for everybody to learn, and we'll go through the whole uh, process of cultivation. So if you're interested in learning about how to grow these guys, check the link below for the Cordyceps cultivation course. Make sure to get your tickets because the class is filling up very quick. And if you think if you think that you will be able to cultivate these guys, if you're skilled with mycology, you definitely will be able to cultivate these guys. Uh, go ahead and order one of our cultures. I'll drop my link below down for our Etsy page where you can find this Cordyceps Militaris culture. So from harvest to, or from inoculation to harvest was about two months. It's a nice turnaround, right? I've yet to weigh it, but we can also utilize the cake as well as the fruiting body. So right now on the market is mostly the fermented substrate, powdered and capsulized or sold as a powder. Uh, but this with the fruiting bodies is going to be a little bit more fermented. So you can utilize both the fruiting bodies and the cake so whole, whole product there and I'll be teaching all about it I've been doing lots of research into the history of cordyceps cultivation into the history of human use with cord uh, cordyceps the history of human use with cordyceps militaris more specifically and I've come across a lot of interesting things throughout my research so re really ready to share uh, still working on finishing up the book got a lot of things going on check out visionary organics They'll be releasing a video soon in the next couple weeks on a little instructional video that we did for cultivating cordyceps as well as a little documentary that we did so should be very cool but again this is william padilla brown and i'm coming at you from our little homestead here in new cumberland pennsylvania and this is the cordyceps cake if you like this video hit the thumbs up share on facebook twitter any of your favorite my, uh, mushroom blogs, superfood blogs, longevity blogs, anything like that. Don't forget to check out mycosymbiotics.blog.